Bullets. Thirty-two miles away, in Annapolis, lies the crypt of a Revolutionary War hero, naval legend John Paul Jones. But what few knew was that this ornate crypt was not Jones's first resting place. Largely forgotten after the Revolutionary War, he was buried by a few friends and left in an unmarked grave for a hundred years. In 1905, Jones's lead coffin was found and opened for an autopsy. The doctors expected to see the mocking grin of a skeleton. Instead, what the doctors saw shocked them. Although partially decomposed, John Paul Jones was preserved enough to be recognizable from 18th century busts. How was this possible? The answer, hoping Jones would someday be rediscovered, his friends had his coffin filled with methyl alcohol. This slowed down autolysis, which is the body breaking down itself, the cells starting to break down. When those cells break down, bacteria move in and disintegrate the cells even more. But alcohol creates a near aseptic condition. That is, it kills the bacteria. John Paul Jones was reburied with fresh methyl alcohol in a tomb in Annapolis, Maryland, a quarter mile from shore. But doesn't a naval hero deserve a burial at sea? years after people. Rising sea levels have thrust Maryland's tidal basin relentlessly inland to the crypt of John Paul Jones, one of the world's greatest sailors has finally received a burial at sea. <laughs> <laughs>